Welcome back to Financial Future, where we keep you updated on all things related to your financial well-being. In today's video, we've got some exciting news to share with you. New checks are on their way for Social Security recipients, with amounts reaching up to $1827. This couldn't have come at a better time, considering the current rise in expenses. Stick around as I dive into the details of who exactly will be receiving these checks. But before we get started, if you find these updates valuable, don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button below and subscribing for more updates on social security, financial planning, and everything in between. Now, let's jump into the latest information on social security. As of today, November 8, the Social Security Administration has begun sending out payments. For those curious about the payment schedule, here's a quick rundown. Payments for those who have received SSDI since before May 1997 were scheduled for November 3, while today's payments are for individuals with birthdays falling between the 1 and 10 th of any given month. Looking ahead, payments for those with birthdays from the 11 to the 20 will be sent on November 15, and those with birthdays from the 21 to the 31 can expect their payments on November 22. Now, on to some less than ideal news. It appears that over 1 million people are currently waiting for Social Security to process their initial disability claims. Lawmakers are highlighting the devastating consequences of this backlog and are in discussions with the Social Security Administration to find viable solutions. Additionally, let's talk about Social Security cuts. While it's important to note that not all states will be affected equally, some states have implemented measures to lessen the impact of these cuts. States like Utah, Alaska, and Texas have a younger demographic profile, which has positioned them well to weather potential changes to the Social Security program. These states have also established robust state-based programs for seniors, acting as a safety net in case of any future adjustments to the federal system. On the other hand, there are states such as Illinois, Iowa, Mississippi, and Pennsylvania that do not tax retirement income while Alaska, Florida, Nevada, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming exempt all income from taxation. Moreover, Virginia, Hawaii, and Georgia stand out for offering excellent senior benefits, including robust health care options, low taxes, and senior-friendly policies. These states have taken proactive measures to support their senior populations, making them ideal places for retirees and individuals relying on Social Security benefits. That's all the latest news for today. I hope this update has provided you with some valuable insights. If you found this information helpful, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to check out our other video on the possibility of a $1,400 senior social security stimulus check. Until next time, take care and stay safe.